All right, we are on deck idea number six, and this one is called the Switch. This particular deck right here is a special one because this is my own personal deck. This is the deck that I use when I'm going up against people online. Is this the best, most powerful, most amazing deck you could ever use? You're damn right it is. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's probably not, but from my own personal experience, this deck is actually pretty damn good. All right, let's go ahead and talk about what this thing does. So probably the first thing you're going to notice, probably the first thing everybody notices when they first go up against me, is blue Vegeta. But here's the kicker. This is not one-shot Vegeta. I don't go for that strategy. I love that strategy. It's a really good strategy, but I don't go for that strategy. What I try to do with my deck is I try to build it to counter as much bullcrap as I can. Because <laughs> every single game, every single game that has you pitted up against another human player, there's always crap that you have to deal with. And I don't mean bullcrap like people cheating, I mean people finding legit strategies that are really annoying to go up against, but they work. Like, it's really annoying, but you're getting your ass whooped by it. Like, literally legit. I actually learned from my boy Holzinho, who is a YouTuber, you should check him out by the way, he's got amazing content. That's Holzinho, H-O-L-L-Z-E-N-I-O, -L -L -E check him out. He taught me a long time ago, if there's a mechanic that was deliberately put into the game, and you find a way to make it effective to where you're winning like 99% of the time, use it. It's gonna piss people off, but I mean if it's meant to be used and you find the right way to use it, use it. Now if you find a glitch that's broken as hell, that's different. <laughs> but we're talking about mechanics that were actually put in the game, that were meant to be in the game, and you find it and you use it and you find a really effective way to use it, it doesn't matter how much it annoys people, use it. <laughs> So how my deck works is, first of all, you're going to see right now, Whis is going to die. But that's okay though, because he already did what he was meant to do. His job was to protect Gohan and Vegeta, but by any means necessary. <laughs> His job was to protect them so they could both do what they were supposed to do. Gohan builds up your ultimate gauge, Vegeta attacks your opponent's master directly. And that's what this build is going for. This build is designed to target the master, take out the master as fast as possible. We don't care who they have on their field. I don't give a dang who you put out on the field, I'm going after your master. And while Vegeta is working on taking the master's health down as much as possible, this build is also trying to defend itself as much as possible. And that's why we go second, because by going second, we have Whis giving that epic boost of defense, and then we have defense up second giving another epic boost of defense, then we have defense up R, which is giving a pretty good boost of defense as well. So not only are we pretty damn tanky right about now, but we're also, I guess you could say we're immune to speed debuffs. Speed debuff doesn't work on us because we're going second anyway, so anybody that tries to lower our speed, it's not going to do anything, you just wasted your time. Then you also might have noticed, now Piccolo, I, I have him here mainly just for utility, there's so much that my Piccolo does right now. You might have noticed that he lowered her ultimate gauge on the second turn. I don't have that on him for Vado. I have that on him for online. Because there's actually a really big strategy going around of building up your ult and then ulting your opponent on the second turn. So Piccolo's there to lower that, to get rid of that. Yeah, they could counter me by having a ultimate gauge up on the second turn, but I'm not sure if everybody's going to have it. But if somebody doesn't have it, they're screwed because I just got rid of their ultimate gauge. And then on top of that, Piccolo has ultimate gauge up on the third turn. So that way, because Gohan already did his job, he got my ultimate gauge up by the third turn. And that's what I want. I want my gauge up and I want it ready on the third turn. And he got it. But if anybody decides to lower it like Vados is about to do, Piccolo has ultimate gauge up on the third turn. So if they don't ult me on the second turn, or if they just straight up don't beat me on the second turn, most likely I'm going to beat them. Because what they don't realize is that Vegeta wasn't meant to kill the master, Vegeta was meant to just weaken the master and get them ready to be one-shotted by Golden Frieza. And that's the final part of the switch. Golden Freeze is going to come out there and he's going to straight up switch it up. They think he's going to go second, but no. He's going to switch it up. He's going to go first and he's going to hit hard with the ult. Now, honestly, Big Bang Vegeta is probably the best to use for this strategy. It's probably the best because he does hit harder and I believe he's actually faster than Golden Frieza. But here's the thing about Golden Frieza that I like so much. He's invincible when he's out there buying... Uh, Vegeta, are you going to kill Bottles right now? Oh, you're not. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I want to show off Frieza. <laughs> Hey, if he would have killed her, damn, that would have been crazy. This deck's a little bit better than I even thought. Now, I know this deck isn't perfect. It does have flaws that I'm still working on, but this is it right now, and I'm actually pretty happy with it the way it is right now. But I am still working on it. I am trying to find ways to make it even better. It has Piccolo. Instead of just picking any random person to put the ultimate gauge skills on, I picked a Piccolo specifically in case my opponent has Blue Vegeta. Because if they have Blue Vegeta, you need to be able to counter that. In my deck, I tried my best to make it able to counter almost anything. 
So here we go, here it comes, Golden Frieza. This is actually where I got my very first deck idea, the Golden Finish. I got it from my own deck. And the reason why I use Golden Frieza instead of Big Bang Vegeta is because just in case anything does go wrong, if for any reason he doesn't finish them off and they come back and they attack us, they have to kill me because they can't kill Frieza. Frieza's invincible. He ain't going nowhere. Also, if for any reason they do outspeed me and they go first, once again, they have to kill me because Frieza ain't going nowhere. That's what I like about Frieza. I love that he's invincible right now. And there you have it. We are definitely going to outspeed her no matter what. I might make a video about what the max speed is. I haven't even thought about that. What is the maximum possible speed you can have? I mean, I'm not going to say that that's a good idea for a deck. The speed doesn't mean nothing if you can't dish out the damage. But just for the heck of it, I might make a video about what the maximum speed is that you can get. And here you have it. This is the end of it. And as you can see, my deck actually did pretty good against Vados. I feel like it did pretty good. Wow, not, we didn't get numbers. Okay, there they are. I was about to say, we didn't even get numbers. They were like, forget the calculations. It's just a KO. <laughs> So there you have it, that's it. That is my own personal deck. That is deck idea number six, the switch. We went second for the first half of the match and then right there at the end, we switch it up and go first. So yeah, that's it for this video. We actually, uh, we need an update on this game. We need an update because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of running out of ideas. <laughs> I mean, I have a few more, but I'm running out. Maybe if I had Goku Blue, uh, I still don't have Goku Blue. This game refuses to give it to me. Goku Blue and Beerus, it refuses to give them to me, <laughs> but until then, I got some other ideas. Uh, I'm going to be switching between this and Dragon Ball Fighters every other day. So the next video will be Dragon Ball Fighters. So if you're not into that, then go ahead and skip that one. And then I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be Hero Coliseum once again. So that's it for this video. Please like it if you like it. You should subscribe if you want more. And join me in the next one. All right, y'all. I'm out.